Hello, my name is Andrew Quitmeyer, and I'm here to talk to you about and develop interest in an idea that I would like to call semi-automatic filmmaking. This is a free open source system aimed at small-scale filmmakers for partially automating some of the most tedious aspects of producing video. In fact, I am even using the system right now as we speak to help produce this exact video. While digital devices have opened the doors to many low-budget, small-scale filmmakers in terms of the production cost of actually capturing an image, the manner in which we use these devices to create content is still rooted in the legacy analog production practices developed by filmmakers decades ago. This is a linear concept of pre-production, production, and then post-production. Early cinema often featured auteurs carrying out each of these tasks either individually or in small groups. Like Ford's assembly line, though, large studios soon found that spreading these processes across many individuals and groups would lead to much more efficient, rapid filmmaking. Unfortunately, smaller productions, like most documentary films, lack the resources for large multi-team distributed productions that would lead to these kind of levels of efficiency. If we could, however, digitally automate or parallelize some of these steps of the production process, the individual can begin to enjoy some of the filmmaking efficiency normally afforded to the big filmmakers, while maintaining the artisanal quality control of a small team. As an exploratory proof of concept of the potential of this solution, I developed a semi-automatic filmmaking tool called Documatic that is specifically targeted at creating documentaries. I chose documentaries because this particular branch of filmmaking is often terribly underfunded and, unlike a fiction film, cannot be planned out in its entirety and then rigidly follow this blueprint for the rest of its production. Instead, documentaries must always allow for the unexpected. New information or unforeseen events could always come along that would drastically alter the structure and eventual direction of a documentary. How does it work? To use this system, you begin just like a traditional documentary, using a digital video recording device of your choice to film people or events and form a collection of raw video files. The addition is that while the camera sits capturing and recording these streams of visual and audio information, one uses the Android app I created to record virtual clips that provide temporal and contextual information. My system, then, connects these pools of raw and semantic data based upon their universal timestamps, and then it generates a roughly pre-edited sequence for professional video editing software. The way in which Documatic synthesizes these sequences is based upon film scholars Bordwell and Thompson's concept of the categorical documentary. And to simplify editing even further, it also uses an additional rule set created by me that breaks video into three fundamental elements. Interview footage, which typically consists of a headshot of a person who is describing or answering questions about something. Exhibit footage, which can be laid over interview footage in order to illustrate what the interviewee is describing. And finally, narration which is simply audio that can be used to introduce a section and is also able to be overlaid with descriptive exhibit video. To give a concrete example of semi-automatic filmmaking put into actual practice, a friend and I used this system to create a silly prototype documentary called Long Dogs. My name is Maria and this is Bella. This is my little girl. She's about a year and a half now and she's short. I've seen longer dogs. Long dogitude. He's he's a he's a medium dog. He is probably longer than he is tall. We'll go with long. Mariam served as the annotator and head interviewer, while I worked simply as the cameraman or recorder. To get set up, first Mariam launches the app and plans and arranges her interview questions. These will serve as the overall structure for the eventual generated sequence. We also made sure to synchronize the current time on the camera with the time on the Android phone, since this is how the annotated data and the raw video data eventually get connected. 
Then, when she meets a person, she starts the camera recording, lets it run, and, referring to the app for question prompts, conducts a personal interview and taps the appropriate tags to annotate how the subject responds. Topics which had not been previously planned for can easily be added on the fly. And, after the interview, one can use the system to collect exhibit footage that illustrates what the interviewee was discussing, and these clips will automatically be linked to that specific person. Jump? She can jump really pretty high. Narration audio can also be captured in order to introduce specific sections of the documentary. Whether the team is prepared to produce a finalized, distributable video, or they simply want to get a quick feel for how the video is coming along, the post-production process is made much simpler with the Documatic system. The documentarian simply copy the project folder from the Android device to the editing computer, and then dump all of the raw video footage that was gathered into this project's video directory. Then, when they double-click the project generator, a new pre-edited rough cut sequence is intelligently generated. If you wanted to collaborate with other documentarians on a similar project, Documatic also has a built-in merging feature. You just drag each group's raw video and project manifest files into the same project folder. And when the project generator is run, it intelligently meshes the clips from all the collaborators into a single sequence. The number of simultaneously merged projects is theoretically limitless. Long Dogs was actually created by merging three separate projects into one single sequence. Of course, this documentary, and the Documatic app, is just one possibility for the much larger realm of semi-automatic filmmaking in general. Since the system does not rely on any network or Bluetooth communication, and simply uses universal timestamps, there are many powerful extensions that are ripe for development. You can think of the interactor as no longer annotating a specific video, but rather a specific time and place in history. It would be simple then to turn this product into a massively multi-camera system. These shots are from a Beastie Boys documentary that was manually edited together from 50 audience member camcorders. A modified documatic system could make this editing process much simpler. You would have one director simply annotating the entire show and then using the system to automatically synchronize, segment, and group this massive amount of raw video, letting you browse effortlessly between the various camera views. Growing even more enterprising, for extremely large social events like a political protest, you could actually have an indiscriminate amount of people both filming and annotating throughout the day, and then individually uploading these video files along with time and location stamped XML annotations to a central server. From this, interesting views of the day could be automatically generated representing individual or merged experiences from the group as a whole. The most important feature of this idea of semi-automatic filmmaking is that we would finally have a fully digital production process for video. A documentary is just one possibility. By modeling other cinematic genres, one could begin producing digital, semi-automated sitcoms, thrillers, or even music videos. In fact, we could create a cinematic model creation system which would allow users to generate their own rule sets of custom complexity. These, of course, are just some quick ideas for extending this product, and I'm sure that other coders and filmmakers of the world will be able to come up with many, many great uses for this type of system. For that reason, and because I believe that semi-automatic filmmaking represents such a powerful step in the evolution of this medium, I'm releasing my product as a free, open-source groundwork for developing more accessible and powerful tools. I'm encouraging others to join me in making semi-automatic filmmaking a process that will enable individuals and groups of varying abilities and financial means to communicate much more efficiently with audio and video. Please go to semiautomaticfilmmaking.org for more information about semi-automatic filmmaking, 
to learn how to use the Documatic system, or to join me in starting the foundation for its open source development. Thank you very much for your time.